QuickBooks 11, setting up a vendor and inventory setup. This is Ken Boyd, the owner of St. Louis Test Preparation. Here's our Facebook page and our email. The website, the book Cost Accounting for Dummies, I'm teaching free online once a week. And my blog, Accounting Accidentally, is linked to the website. So what I'd like to do now is I'd like to go into QuickBooks and here's QuickBooks and I'd like to do three things first of all I'd like to set up a vendor so if I go to the vendor center you see vendor data up here in the top left but I can also go to vendors here and I can go to vendors on the drop down vendor center and what you'll see is I've set up an account up here in the top left hand corner called Mountaintop Denim because my company is Sturdy Blue Jeans I'm a blue jean manufacturer and one of the things I buy to make my product is denim. And so I created a vendor called Mountaintop Denim. I can click on this button here to set up a new vendor. And so I have Mountaintop Denim, the company name and the address. There's a shipping address and a company address. I did give the vendor an account, an account number which is handy to have down the road. So I have set up a vendor that I can use to buy product from and document how I'm buying product. Going back to the home page, in order to do business with inventory, I have to set up inventory preferences in QuickBooks. So if I go to Edit and I go to Preferences, you'll see on the drop down all kinds of preferences here on the left. I'm on Items and Inventory and I'm going to go to Company Preferences. And you can see that I checked the top button which says Inventory and Purchase Orders are accurate. And inventory, a purchase order is something that where I send written requests to a vendor to buy something. I place an order. That's a purchase order. There are other buttons checked here that are a little less important, but the important thing is inventory and purchase, purchase orders are active. And then I just hit OK, and that's how I set up inventory. So what that did when I did that was I'm able to do purchase orders now and I'm more, I've got inventory and you can see over here under company that I've got inventory activities so I can now deal with inventory in my business another thing I had to do was I had to have accounts to handle inventory so if I go to company chart of accounts I created several accounts to deal with inventory that were not in my chart of accounts before so I created an account called Inventory. It's another at current asset like receivables. Inventory Denim is the sub-account to recognize the denim material that I buy to make blue jeans. It's an asset. You'll see I also created some income statement accounts. When I sell inventory, it becomes cost of sales. I have cost of sold account. That's an expense. I have cost of goods sold blue jeans. That's an expense. And if I go down all the way down to, or all the way up, I should say, to sales income, I have a typo there, but it says sales income blue jeans. That's the income I get from selling the blue jeans right there in income. The other thing is items. I had to create inventory items. So if I go to company and I click on items and services just one time, I was too fast. You see an item list and I've created an item for the denim that I'm buying. I'm going to expand this a little bit. So Mountaintop Denim's the item. The description is Mountaintop Denim bought in square yards, uses material to make blue jeans. It's an inventory part. I had to label it part just to make it work, but it's really mater a material is the part. When I sell it, it goes into sales income for blue jeans. U slash M means unit of measurement, and the unit of measurement for this product is in square yards. And I, I can put a purchase price in here if I want to. The way I set up this item list was, I clicked on item and I hit new, and I was able to create a new item. So now I'm all set up because I can use a vendor from the vendor dropdown. In the chart of accounts, I have 
fastest way to get to it is here. I have the accounts now that relate to inventory and if I click on items and services I now have a line item so that when I buy the inventory I can track it. So those are the things that I wanted to do to set up my business so I can start handling inventory. And there's Bill Murray. That's as far as we'll get on QuickBooks 11 setting up inventory. For additional videos and textbooks, you can find them um, on my channel, Video Textbooks. The YouTube channel you already know about, Ken Boyd STL, all the videos are linked to my website now. For live one on one tutoring and ch chat sessions, that's hard to say. Here's the website. And the, finally, the book Cost Accounting for Dummies will be out March 4th, and I'm teaching a free online class every week for Cost Accounting for Dummies. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you next time.